My Princess Peach shoes. My Princess Peach shoes. My Princess Peach shoes. Pa 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 Peach shoes. Hey adventures, it's Rachel and welcome back to Looking for Adventure Art and today we have a super fun DIY for you. If you did not see one of my haul videos a little while back, I had picked up some really cute limited edition Princess Peach shoes that Vans was selling and I love them and they're so cute but I felt kind of bad that not everybody could have them. So I decided to come up with an easy DIY that you guys can then have your own favorite comic book themed shoes. I know Mario isn't comic book themed but this is. We are making our very own comic book themed shoes today and they are so cute but I had to do a little something special for this intro because as I was filming this, I know this is coming out later, a few weeks ago, it was my birthday on the 16th and I was actually filming this video during that period of time and it just so happened that my boyfriend could not hold it in and got me some super adorable and amazing birthday presents that happened to be the same kind of theme as this video. So I thought I'd show you. So the first thing that he got me was this super cute Pikachu. And it's not because I don't play Pokemon Go. Not that people who play Pokemon Go, there's nothing wrong with that. But I was a 90s kid and I grew up playing Pokemon. And when I go to the gym, I do my abs to the Pokemon theme song. And I bake Pokeball cookies and it is awesome. So. I think that this is so cute. Pikachu was always one of my favorites and has the most adorable voice. So what is there not to love about this? He also happened to get me two matching things. The first one is this super adorable Harley Quinn. And the best part about it, in addition to it coming with its own little accessories, is that their heads can actually move. So that's a really cute plushie. I think that the box is adorable as well. I love all the sketch drawings on the inside. It is awesome. And originally, the black pair of shoes that you will see me making in the tutorial was going to be Harley Quinn themed, but there wasn't a single comic that I really truly wanted to use for these shoes. And I didn't want to cut up my favorite Mad Love book with Harley and Joker in it. So I instead instead decided to go with Deadpool and of course he had to get Deadpool. I love Deadpool. Deadpool is one of my all-time favorite comics. I used to play the video games and look at how cute this little Deadpool is. Now I had no idea that he was going to get me Deadpool stuff when I just decided to choose the Deadpool comics for the black pair of shoes that we're making in this video but it is so adorable and again the sketch drawings are so cute. You can't have a Deadpool plushie without a matching Deadpool sweatshirt jacket and this is so comfy. It fits me. He knows my sizes. He's the best and it's so cute and of course Deadpool was actually the first movie that we ever saw in theaters together because we like to sit at home and watch movies all the time but for Valentine's Day, well, after Valentine's Day, we decided to splurge and go see Deadpool in theaters, which blew my mind. I loved it, but I'm biased because I love Deadpool. He also picked up this awesome t-shirt because I am a big Disney nerd, but probably the number one thing that I am obsessed with is Futurama. I have seen all the seasons and every episode front to back probably about 15 times. I hate to say that, but it is one of my all-time favorite shows. I love Futurama. I even have a really adorable stuffed nibbler. So he picked up this really cute Disney Little Mermaid meets Futurama t-shirt just for me and I am so excited. He also, for my birthday, surprised me and took me to Catalina and it was my first time going. It was his first time going and it was really exciting and kind of crazy that I've never been there considering I live in California and all my friends and family have gone. But it was a super cool experience and I get a free boat ride on my birthday. So if you happen to want to do that, just know that you get to have free boat rides on your birthday. And he, 
also picked up this for me and this was so cute. I had no idea that he brought the, these things along with him, but it is this adorable necklace and I think that it is the perfect mix of steampunk and then it's kind of got like branches like my tree and it's got some bling and of course it's blue because it's one of my favorite colors and it's got kind of a vintagey really classic feel too so I think that it is so perfect and it fits my personality perfectly and it is adorable and I absolutely love it and of course the other thing is he knew that Every year on my birthday, I try, I don't always succeed, but I try to get myself one new thing and from Swarovski. I grew up putting Swarovski crystals on my skating outfits and so I try and now get one small piece of jewelry for myself and so he surprised me and he got me this awesome ring. It's super sparkly and pretty and I love it. So I had an awesome birthday and I love all the cute nerd stuff that happens to fit with the theme and now matches my shoes. So let's get into the tutorial and let's get started. So to get started, the things you will need are a pair of shoes, some comics of your choice, a foam brush, some ribbon, scissors, 3D fabric paint, Mod Podge, preferably in matte, and some Sharpies. Make sure you save those shoelaces that you have taken out of your shoes because we're gonna need them for later. So let's get started. To get started, all you're gonna need are a pair of shoes. I happen to pick mine up for really, really cheap at Walmart. And these are just some white shoes and your favorite comic book. So growing up, my favorite was the Archie series. So I love Betty and Veronica. And I just happened to buy one of these at Ralph's. And all you're gonna do to start is you're just gonna pick one of your favorite comics and you're just gonna start cutting out some of the images. You can cut them out in squares, you can cut out some really cool shapes. And don't forget, you can only use one side of the comic, so make sure that you pick whichever side you like better. So now that I'm done cutting out all my favorite comic book pieces, I have them all laid out so I can see which ones that I like. And I'm just going to take my Mod Podge and I am going to put down a layer of Mod Podge in the area of the shoes that I want, which for me is going to be the front and the back. And then I'm going to stick on which comics I want and then add another layer of Mod Podge over it. Now one thing that might help as you work on this is to definitely work in small sections. Don't cover the entire front of the shoe because it will start to dry before you can get to putting on your comic book pieces. Now to make sure that I am getting it all the way into the creases, all I'm doing is taking my nail, you can also take any kind of blunt tool, and I'm just going to rub a nice thin line to make sure that I'm going all the way around the edge of the sneaker because I don't want it on the rubber. To help make sure that all the comics stay in place, I'm also applying that top coat of Mod Podge as I go around so they don't wiggle and move. Don't worry about if there's any overhang on the shoe because we will cut that away later.
I have finished putting on the comic strips and doing our first layer of Mod Podge and I waited until they were dry. So now that they're dry, I'm going to use an X-Acto knife to cut off all the excess because right now they don't really look that pretty or wearable, but we are going to change that once we cut away all of the extra. I also have a second pair of shoes that I've done drying and I used one of my favorite comics which was Deadpool to do this. I used some black shoes and one of the reasons why I wanted to do a second pair was to show you that it does not have to be a white pair of shoes and it does not have to be regular newspaper because a lot of the newer comics are printed on magazine paper. You want to make sure that when you're cutting that you don't press too hard because you don't want to cut the shoes. You just want to cut the excess paper away. If you happen to get some excess on the rubber sole of the shoe because you put some Mod Podge there, just very, very gently take your X-Acto knife and kind of scrape it away. At this point, it's only the first layer of Mod Podge, so it's not too thick and you should be able to get most of it off. If you can't get most of it off, don't worry because we're gonna end up putting some of the 3D fabric paint around the edges to cover up any mistakes. I wanted to show you something that happens when you don't wait until the Mod Podge is completely dry. So the Mod Podge was mostly dry when I decided to start cutting, but in one area it was still wet and I ended up tearing the comic instead of getting a nice clean line. So definitely wait until the Mod Podge is completely dry so you can have a nice clean line all around your shoes. Now that my shoes are totally dry, I am just going to go back and I'm going to do somewhere between two and three coats of Mod Podge, making sure to seal in all of the edges that are being cut. Uh, but other than that, we're basically done. Make sure that you leave the shoes to sit and dry in between coats. It's important that the coats of Mod Podge dry instead of just trying to put on two or three really thick coats. They look so cute! For the back side of the shoe, because it does not have a ridge that I can wrap the comics around, I'm just slightly overlapping the Mod Podge to the shoe itself. I am making such a mess. I have set the shoes aside to dry and now we are going to take our shoelaces and we are going to decorate them to match our shoes. I'm going to take some Sharpies and I'm just going to draw on the shoelaces and then wait for them to dry. You can do any pattern or any style that you want on them. You could even dip dye them with some sprays or with some tie dye stuff. You could color them all one color. You could try and do an ombre. You have so many options, but I'm gonna keep it simple and I'm just gonna use some Sharpies. I have put my three coats of Mod Podge on the shoes and they are all dry. I have also finished up the shoelaces. I think that they are really cute. I learned a cool trick as I went along doing the Sharpie on the shoelaces, which was if I pulled on the shoelaces so that they were nice and tight, they ended up bleeding less and making cleaner lines because I was really struggling to get my lines clean and even when I first started, but the second shoelace looks much better and much cleaner because I decided to hold the shoelace nice and tight. 
We are not going to use our shoelaces just yet or put them back in the shoes. Instead, we are going to grab our puffy paint and all we're going to do is go around the edges of the shoes or really anywhere you want and you can make cute little dots or you can make stars or you can make hearts but we're just going to outline all of the edges of the shoes and i'm going to let mine sit and dry overnight and i will come back to you guys in the morning Okay, so I am back. I have been working on these a little bit more. It's actually been two days. It does take about four hours for the paint on them, the little fabric paint to dry. So I have been doing them in sections. I found what is really helpful is when you are doing a section, if you lay it sideways so it doesn't drip. It is a pretty firm paint, so it won't drip a lot, but I did find that on some of the areas it would slide down just a bit so I have been just propping them up and doing one side of the shoe at a time. I'm just going to continue doing the same process that I have been off camera on camera to show you guys a little bit more but it's nothing special and then we're almost done. I did notice that when the 3D paint dries, that it dries more flat than 3D. So if you're concerned about this paint being two-dimensional for your shoes, you don't have to worry about it because as it dries, it does end up flattening out. I also noticed that when it gets to about two hours, that the paint ends up being firm enough that you can end up doing the other side. Just be careful not to push on it too hard because you can still smear it. I decided to let these dry for a full 24 hours so they are now all done and all the really cute detailing on them is all finished and nice and dry and I think that they look super cute. I don't know which version I like better. So all that's left to do is to put the shoelaces in them. However, as I started to put my Sharpie ones in and another reason why I made sure to let them dry for quite a while. Overall, the Sharpie laces were drying for about two to three days, but um, I've never had this happen before when I've done this, but I guess whatever quality Walmart uses for shoelaces, they didn't want to dry. So when I went to go put them in my shoes, I don't know if you can see that, but I actually started to stain my white shoes. So I very quickly took out the laces from that. Luckily, I only put it in on one side. And I am just going to finish lacing up my white shoes with the red ribbons. And then for my really cute, adorable Deadpool shoes, which I love, the super cute little chibi Deadpools on the front of them, because adorable little baby Deadpool is the best. I'm going to lace them up in red and black, and then we will be all finished.
I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I absolutely loved making these shoes. This might be one of my favorite tutorials to date. They were so much fun to make. I think that these Archie ones are so cute. I love the way that they turned out. And of course, the Archie comics are my favorite. I read them growing up and they look so classic. But I also love my Deadpool ones with the different colors up here and being lined all the way around. And of course, the mismatching laces. And look at the cute little baby Deadpools on them. They match mine perfectly. They're so adorable. So I cannot wait to wear these. I was a little bummed about the shoelaces staining the white shoes, but luckily I only put one in and I saw it right away. I don't know why that happened. I've never had that happen, but that's beside the point because I love the ribbons anyway, so it doesn't matter to me. And now it's time for our... Question of the day. My question of the day for you guys is, what's your favorite comic book? Or do you have a favorite Sunday Funnies that you read growing up? Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear what you guys say. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for all the daily updates. And if you, of course, happen to make this look or any other looks on my channel, feel free to email me the photos or tag me on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or whatever kind of social media is that you guys do, because I want to see it. And don't forget, Every day is a new adventure, so come back next time for a new adventure with us. All of my favorite sort of meh. I need to live in front of a fan. It's really hot in California. I want to talk like a robot. Oh, it works! I want to talk like a robot. I love the 90s. You're not hearing this robot sound? No. It sounds like a robot. It's the perfect mix of steampunk and a little bit of my forestness and some bling and kind of... No! No! Pika Pika! Pika Pika! Look at the little baby Deadpools to match my cute... God. I point the wrong way sometimes. Yes, you do.